I mean, it can be brutal out there, but if someone's trying to help you out, you might as well be a Packers player. Right. Darren I'll wishes that was him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later at four. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at what's going on right now. Well, I'll tell you this much. We're not looking good ourselves. We're not seeing as much snow as they had out as they had out in the Great Lakes, but we've had a decent amount of snowfall, but now it's mixing with sleet and also some freezing rain. And of course, that freezing rain, it puts a glaze of ice on everything on your cars, on the sidewalks, on the roads, especially the bridges and overpasses. As I mentioned before, our own Gil Simmons was driving over the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge. He he said it was treacherous. It was very icy. The front of his truck was completely covered in ice. So you have an eyewitness to this. Now, as you can see, the shades of purple here, that is indicative of those snowflakes mixing in with that freezing rain. And we're seeing that right along the shoreline, along 95 and the Merritt Parkway from Bridgeport into Milford, right here into New Haven. But it goes farther inland now into Shelton, Oxford, up towards Naugatuck, Waterbury, Hamden, Wallingford, Middletown, all seeing that. And of course, we're seeing it out towards New London as well. A little bit of sleet mixing in here from East Lyme to Salem, up towards Norwich, Ledyard, Voluntown. And even though these darker shades of blue would normally be indicative of some heavy snow, well, I do expect there's some mixing going on there as well because I switched the radar view. This is what we call the correlation coefficient. And so when we're seeing these kind of brighter shades of oranges and yellows and a little bit of blue, and as you can see, it kind of bows out across the state. This is actually telling us that the radar is pinging off of that freezing rain and those sleet pellets in the atmosphere. So this basically tells us that that mixing is actually happening all the way up in Litchfield County into parts of Hartford, Tolan and Wyndham County as well. So unfortunately, the road conditions are not going to improve until the salt trucks can really get out there and start to put some stuff down to allow this ice to melt. As far as those snowfall totals go, killingly, so far the grand prize winner it picked up about four inches there. A little over three inches in Plainfield, a little over two in Norwich, about two inches fell in Suffield and Staffordville, and about one and a half in Rocky Hill. So no blockbuster amounts, but certainly a nuisance, especially with this mixing going on now. But here's an area that is very happy with even a little bit of snow, even a little bit of help from Mother Nature, Mount Southington, and of course our other ski resorts that are out there. It is 27 in Hartford. We're 29 in Willimantic, 28 in Meriden, 31 here in New Haven. So as you can see, that mixing line will continue to stretch to the north. Up in Litchfield County and the higher elevations, you may still see mostly snow, but things will gradually quiet down as we head through this afternoon. And then overnight, these clouds will break apart, allowing for a brighter Wednesday. But unfortunately, it's going to be a cold one as temperatures will only top out in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees. Now, even though temperatures temperatures are not going to get above freezing tomorrow. That snow, even in direct sunlight, can still melt. And then, of course, overnight, anything that melts will refreeze. So we're not going to be dealing with the best conditions through much of the week here. So snow mixing with sleet and freezing rain through this afternoon until this shuts down. Tonight we will see decreasing clouds and bitter cold temperatures. The numbers are going to drop back into the teens across most of the state. Tomorrow, brighter but still cold. As I said, highs will not make it above the freezing mark. Here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where we will see increasing clouds Thursday in anticipation of some snow showers as we go through Thursday night and we could even see some on and off snow showers for Friday. So we're again not looking at any blockbuster amounts there. It looks like it's going to be another little nuisance system. We're back into the sunshine for Saturday and Sunday, but look at highs on Saturday. Some places will not make it out of the teens.